Google has dropped Notebook LM as a mobile app. Yes, it's now available on the Play Store. You can access your notebooks, upload from sources like YouTube, PDFs, website, or even just copy pasted text. You can ask questions, get answers with inline citations, join or start audio discussions, and even send those sources across your devices. And adding sources is pretty easy no matter which app you're using, whether it's a browser, PDF reader, or just YouTube, tap the share icon and select Notebook LM and it'll instantly save the source into your notebook. Now, currently only three input types are supported, but more are gonna be added soon. And here's where things get a little bit interesting too, because Notebook LM lets you play your content as audio, like a conversation between two hosts. And if you have a question mid playback, you can just jump in, ask your question, and they'll respond in real time. You can also download these audio overviews to play offline too, whether you're on Wi-Fi or not. It just keeps running in the background so you don't have to keep the app open to listen. And in a demo video released by Google, they showed a real use case here. Mike Salvatore, a cafe and bike shop owner from Chicago, uploaded all his store manuals into Notebook LM. And now his employees can just search and ask questions without needing him around. And it basically frees him up from constantly solving the same problems for his employees. Now, it's not perfect. Some users have pointed out that you can not access mind maps in the mobile app, something that's available on the web version. And one user also tried making a longer audio podcast over six minutes long, but ran into a limit. And so Notebook LM replied on X saying that for now, audio length is restricted in non-English languages to keep the quality up, but that fix is already in the works. So it's still early days, but Google is clearly betting big on turning Notebook LM into more than just a notes app.